Right. Hello, lads. Once more, we're standing here with a <laughs> project of mine. This is a Mercedes-Benz L LA328. Uh, LA stands for Das Kraftwagen Allrad, so it means it's a truck uh, all-terrain, 4x4. I just put on the lights here. Which means you can see that there's actually a front axle that has, well, the drive here. So, yeah, it's a 4x4. 1964, functional, of course, but it would not start. And I couldn't figure out why it wouldn't start. I mean, uh, it did as it used to, but all of a sudden it just smoked a whole bunch and it just, just wouldn't start. And I started wondering that perhaps the fuel pump itself would be faulty, uh, given the fact that the, today's diesel fuel is now mixed up a bit with, di with biofuel. So it is either called B5 or B30 or something like that. Yeah. And you change the, the bacteria in the diesel, which means they'll actually eat up uh, more, um, more gaskets and rubber if it's not meant for biofuel. So... I got concerned, and unfortunately, my concern was uh, spot on. You see, this here is the primary fuel pump. Focus, thank you. Filter, piston, and of course, if you need to prime it yourself, you can uh, open up here, you can just push it, and fuel starts running. I tried that while I was sitting in the engine and nothing happened. Well, unfortunately, I broke it, I think, as well, because uh, trying to dismantle it, the spring inside uh, just doesn't want to work anymore. You see, you have the uh, the crankshaft, or also actually it's the, the camshaft in the middle of it all. Um, it has a... That must be the doesn't matter it's one of the axles okay <laughs> to make things uh easy well and it pushes on this while the engine's running and by doing that it sucks in fuel here and it pushes it out of course at the opposite end there right so it'll be filtrated here first and let's put that away there we go okay and my lamp here it is and going up to the the second area diesel engine or the diesel filter really before going into the engine and and back into the, the, the tank this is the injection fuel pump well this injection pump where you have all six cylinders here and the return there and right here i found myself a new fuel pump or a primary fuel pump and it's actually from a, uh, a Unimog, but hey, it works <laughs> just fine. <laughs> yeah, sometimes you got to improvise, especially now that we have vehicles uh, that are, well, not standard. Let's just say it like that. It's not standard. So let's just see if I, if, if, uh, can, if we can get this started. Uh, you can see, unfortunately, there's a lot of. Let's see if I can get down there. Uh, let's see, there we are. Where the hell is it? Ah, so my finger in the way. Huh? You see? I don't know if you can see it, but there's a lot of debris in there. And that is because of the biofuel. Um, I put in some mixture that I bought from a, a company called Wirt. Of youth, or whatever they're called, yeah, and uh, they they say you should take care of the bio, the biomass and the uh, bacteria inside the tank. It's just like well, what we call a diesel plague here, but it's it's um, it makes it into this sticky substance, and it just won't start, and you can actually ruin an entire engine with it. So, do not get this in your machines, and especially not in your in your injectors, uh, because then you will be facing <laughs> a heap of trouble. Yeah. So, right. Okay, so I tried priming it uh, with the uh, with the knob there. So next would be to get inside the vehicle now and see if we can start her up. So let's go. Ow. Thank <laughs> you. 
long German metal. Yeah. Right. Oh, there we go. Uh, Try to squeeze in there. All right. Welcome to the cab, really. This is a uh, simple, simple, simple. It's built for the Danish armed forces, so it's uh, it's built to last forever. See? Nothing really astonishing here. Well, yeah, a little funny thing here would be that today's trucks and whatever has so much electronics. Uh, <laughs> this one does not. <laughs> this is the entire electrical system of the truck. Yeah. <laughs> Very, very high end. Right. There's eight fuses in there, or perhaps ten, if we're lucky. <laughs> yeah. Anywho, let's get it started if we can. And the other way to do that is, let's see. There we go. All right. It's a standard procedure for something like this. You see the key there? Yeah. Push that in. Right. Okay, let's make kids play here. Yeah? All right. So, so far, we have uh, we made like, electrical contact. Yeah. Secondly, will be the starter button, which is right here, and you pull it out just halfway. Right, uh, and we look here in the pepper shake, as we call it. And when that starts to glow, the uh, preheater. Um, would, uh, would kick in. I think I'm spotting something in there. Let's see. Oh, there you go. See? It turns all red. Right. Just in case I'm going to clutch you out, especially because kids have been playing it. Right, so. <sighs> Giving a bit of uh, opening up there. Are you ready? Three, two, one. <laughs> right. I feel I hate it. Three, two, one. All right, that worked. Oh, it's got a smoky here. See? This will all get better as long as it gets warm and the biofuel is uh, more or less uh, gone. So, um, thank you for watching. See you next time, yeah? Bye bye.